hello how's everybody doing thanks a lot for tuning back in i'm on the way to the house from my good friend james tomlinson he was a previous neighbor when i used to permanently live here in vegas and he's gonna help me out today to install a new bike rack which i was looking for one for a longer time and i ordered one before which was using my tow hitch and Two problems with that. First of all, I realized too late it was not even certified for this use. And second, I just didn't like the fact that the van would be longer. There is this wiggle movement around with the bikes and everything. So not a solution that I decided I want to permanently have for my travels. Then I found this bike rack that I'm going to install and it's going to be hanging on the rear doors. Big advantage with that is much better clearance to the rear end of the van. It doesn't really make it that much longer. You could technically still park under it. The only problem with it was I ordered it and it took almost a year to finally be shipped to me. It was just a high demand, you know, again, of COVID and everybody wants to travel and get out and the whole van market exploding. Gonna be interesting. Be nice to hang around with James. And I see you guys there. Viel Platz, komm zurück. Als beide. Als beide, als beide. Hi, Jung. Hello, brother from another mother. Bis hier. Good to see you, brother. Same here. How's it going? I can't see shit, man. <laughs> right there. That's my buddy James. <laughs> Hello, Leute, wie geht's? Yep. Oh, yeah. You speak not Deutsch, oder? I can't. Ganz kleines bisschen. He still speaks German. Just a little bit, but it's rusty. It's rusty. So Very rusty. We, we're going to work on that. This guy is super cool, and he has the most freaking awesome tires in the whole neighborhood. We're gonna install the bike rack here, so yeah. Anything we else? Be screwing the bolts <laughs> in the back door. <laughs> right. We gotta drill some holes into the van. All right, let's cool. do it. It's probably all my tires all together, or like one or two of these. All right? Yeah, that's the lift kit that I need. So before we get to work, we need proper strength. So James invited me to have some pizza here. First the pleasure, then the hard work, as we say, right? Cool. There's only one step we can do today, which is put a rail up here. We actually have to glue it, and it will be secured from the sights. And then it has to dry out. That's going to be it for today. So, you want to help too, Tanya? Yeah. That's his daughter, Anya. Anya, the little helper. Yeah. I know her since she was like here, right? Door height, yeah. Okay. James has the most freaking awesome workbench. That's definitely <laughs> something really cool. <laughs> we are working on the Humvee backpack. Genau, the Humvee Werkbank. United States Marine Corps, huh? Awesome. Yeah, so James is retired Air Force, right? Yep, Luftwaffe. Die Luftwaffe, genau. Well, you were doing a, what do you call that? Logistics expert or something? Cargo? Transportation logistics, yeah, that's kind yeah. of the field that I was in, yeah. Oh. Transportation. Thanks for your service, as we say. And now you just got yourself a little hobby toy for <laughs> for neben by, huh? <laughs> Project. <laughs> the other toy. Damn, look at this. Yeah, we can take it out for a spin later. I'm driving now. And a nice Harley. Quickly filming that. <laughs> you got a thing in Germany too? Uh, yeah. Oh. Cool. 
So, checking the instructions, we have all the parts together. Stripes, the bars, the locks, the glue, Sikaflex 252, all the plastic parts, whatever. And here's the main rack, and we have the coolest working bench ever. So, first thing we have to do is clean the upper door. Oh, I got a car wash, so that's pretty clean already. Put those adhesive plastic protection things in the corners. And then prepping the first rail. That's what it is called to put the glue on. Now I have two of these because one was actually already uh, past the, what is it called? Expiration date. Expiration date, thank you, sir. Uh, Mindest Mindest Haltbarkeit Datum. <laughs> so I think this is good for March, and this is not. It's like the longest word in Germany. What yeah. is it? Geschwindigkeitsbegrenzung. Geschwindigkeitsbegrenzung. Yeah. Is that the longest one? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why that just popped in my head. Alkohol macht die Birne hohl. Just cleaning out the surface to make sure. Perfect. Now I have to do it on the other side. But it must go 15 times faster. Yep. You know what you don't see very often? Two Germans working on a car project without two bottles of beer. That's right. So, jetzt kommt der kritische Teil. I'm sorry, now it comes the critical part. I'm confused in the languages. The options are just overwhelming. Because uh, my buddy Jam is here. Quarter inch. Capable of speaking fluid English. Uh, I mean German and both. Oh, that's precision work. Precision. Yeah, they say it's hard to work. How does it feel? I don't know, Ricky. I work every day. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I wish I was living in a van. <laughs> Down by the river. <laughs> you want to trade? Uh, sure, why not? My van casa is super van casa. We'll, we'll trade lives yeah. for a few. Nah, you got a good life. You, you have a freaking Humvee in your garage. I know. That should be alright. It is. Just joking. Uh, 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 uh. Too fat. Ah oh, man, I messed it up. It's gonna spill out. So we gotta start over. How are we gonna start over? Right, do I have the joy of uh, putting this on or what? Of course. That is it's about eight millimeters high, so got it. Like that. Two. Here goes nothing. What does that look like? Yep. It's almost perfect. Look at that. Sehr gut. So 12 hours, that means get up at 5 in the morning to continue working because you only have a very small window to work on this thing. Just kidding, of course. Well, James, thank you so much till here. Glad to help. All these right. is the princess of the evening. Princess, we're going to be late. Let's go. Yes. So where are we going to? Um, my military ball. Military? Ball. Yes. What are you celebrating? ROTC, which is? It's basically like the Air Force, but just for, you know, students at, in high school. So. Okay, I think we, we have to explain <laughs> it later for us <laughs> yeah. German dudes to understand what it is. But yeah. I have the pleasure to escort you tonight for mm -hmm. safety. 
yes. to the ball and then we pick her up later, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Uh, in, in simple words for people who don't know what that is, like me, mm -hmm. TC, was it that? ROTC. How would, how would you explain it, Dad? What? Because I'm not explaining it well. ROTC, what is that? It's junior ROTC. High school version of the military. To prepare you for if you want to join the military, uh huh, you want to get some discipline, some integrity. Usually people join it in high school to get a couple extra credits. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it still is, but it used to be when you go and join the military, uh, usually they can skip you a rank or two. Instead of showing up as an E1, you graduate as an E2. Oh, okay, which is better so, salary, right? Yeah, better salary, and it prepares you for. Uh, so you don't get a culture shock when you do join the military. Hmm. Interesting. Prepares you for basic training, military, structure. You learn the rank system. Oh, I've learned some German. Hello, ich bin Cora. Nice. Are nervous. We are going to the Leda Hotel. Tell, tell us about it. Say hi to YouTube. Oh, hi, YouTube. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're ready. Saturday. It's a party. <laughs> Anything happens, you call us. I will. I will. <laughs> Otherwise, enjoy the evening. Yeah. Have a good time. as a father see your girl walking off in uh, into life <laughs> well that's a dramatic pause right there yeah <laughs> it's nice because I got free time right now but <laughs> so she didn't say goodbye to us didn't say goodbye <laughs> to us at all she walked just off. literally walked off with her friends so we're like okay that's right that's fine so uh, what are we gonna do now that means she's excited. Are we going to get wasted at the bar? Is that what that was your idea? <laughs> that was and then your my wife going to pick us up? <laughs> that was my idea. Yeah, we'll see. I want this one. Can you, can you, can you want one of these? Can you want what? Are you good at that stuff? I think we're a little too old for this. I don't care. Whenever I see those places, it reminds me of Terminator. Of Terminator 2, Judgment Day. When the cop was trying to find uh, John Connor in the Galleria. Literally just saw another chick with the same dress walk through the door. Seriously? Going to the same ball? Probably. Looks oh. like a teenager. Okay. <laughs> there might be a girl attending the same party or ball. Same dress. The same dress. <laughs> There's only so many places where you can get a dress. Oh, this is exit. So much time do we have that we have to pick her up? Hopefully three days. <laughs> and officially it's what, three hours? I have no idea. I would assume three, four hours, yeah. And then if she wants to hop on the party bus, I have no idea. Ooh, we have a party bus. I doubt it though. I doubt she's gonna wanna go. That's Two. where the magic happens. It's a party bus.
morning, good morning. Morning, morning. Hello. What are you representing today? She was the first one that got me out of bed. Really? We got to install Ricky. We're going to work on the van today. Yeah, she Ricky's rags. I think she's more excited than we are. Good morning, brother. How you doing? Good. You? Right. Slept Sleep well? Good? Yep. Slept on the street as usual, so I'm used to it. Okay, we are. So, second day of install. And I think what we have to do is assemble this rack together. So it's basically done, and then we can hang it from the upper rail, and we can locate this uh, spot for the second rail to glue it on. So it should be pretty straightforward. The selections are here, and that's what we're gonna do, right? Okay. Can we do it? Yeah. Yes. Easy. Let's do it. Put the rubber. Why in. does the blanket here screw? You found a stud. It's a stud finder. All right. Yeah. So, so these slide into here. Yeah. Once everything is assembled, okay. You gotta cut it and then put it into. I mean, just make it really see. But. Hang it. I'm gonna do a test run first, and then it will give you the proper position. And then you put it on. Be sure no on no. In Las Vegas. It's coming out. Nice. Alright, so. I gotta call my parents too. Do so. Call them every day. Some nasty hair. That must yeah, be mine. This. Well, it's gonna be there. Looks good, huh? Mm -hmm. So. Right, let's stick it. Come. Ready? Yep. Stick it. Okay. Cool. Last chance. All this. the German precision we can actually measure it. What do you think? Right on. That looks pretty good to me. So nice and tight here and there. Right. So last thing we're gonna do is put the actual rail on where the bike is gonna sit on top. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So look, one final thing to do. Yeah, go ahead. We have to put that rail on here. You see that? What do you watch? Oh, nice. So that's the final piece. Wow. Um, we're done with this. You excited? Yes? No? You are. Cool. We have two screws, four of these plastic washers and two nuts. The washers come in here. Yep. Pop right in. See that? Ouch. And... Plastic cap has to go on first. And then you can Screw tight. There's a way to store this. Other than that, looks pretty good. So we're gonna have a little lunch break, right? Yep, we're lunch break. Four. Yes, uh, all the other steps installing the bike were so tiring. We need a break. Yes, right? it was exhausting. It's Absolutely. the hardest thing I ever did in my life. <laughs> hey, Cora. How was your ball? 
It was good. Yes. It was fun. Got to dance around. You Eat did? Some food. And high heels? Wow. Lots of My dancing feet with hurt the boys so and the bad girls. that night. Your knees. Like yesterday it was it was horrible. Wow. <laughs> Oh, we're glad to hear you had a good time. There is terrible McDonald's. <laughs> After you. No. Today is Sunday, March 20th, whatever the hell time it is. Today is my last fast food meal. My goal is to lose 50 pounds, and it starts today. Fast forward, the rack has been on for a while now. It's my first long trip from Vegas to Los Angeles and it's doing really great. Bike is safe and secure and what I really like about it is when it's off, you can fold this up and you still fit in any parking lot. I got myself two logs. This one here from Abus, a German company. And then the Kryptonite. And yeah. Super cool, so glad I have this with me. Depending on where we are, I will put this up as a deterrent. As a matter of fact, I do have a camera up there and it is working. So, I guess that's all I can do in terms of security. You can also still open the door even with the bike on, which is great. One thing I had to get though is this stopper strap here. If you swing open the door too much, the bike would hit the side of the van and damage the entire thing. Not so super happy with it. It was a fix solution for now because when I take my pictures with my rear doors open, this door is gonna be in the view field now. But for now, that's the better choice rather than making this mistake one time to open the door too far. And then that's it for the paint job. And that was it, installing the bike rack. What a long vlog, I know, but you made it that far. Thank you so much for watching. I would like to thank James again for helping me out, also to his family. I'm in Los Angeles right now in Hollywood, so the next couple of vlogs will be about my journey being here and finally fulfilling my dream of pursuing my career here in this town. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider coming back, follow along. And as usual, with that said, I'll see you next video. Bye.